Okay, interesting, interesting video for today. Uh, we'll be looking at sanctified skills. So you just saw that I pulled an extra angel of death. Actually, I had another one, but I I used her to make a five star. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, thankfully I got another one of her. So you go to sanctify and then yeah, there's a question mark there. You can include a five star version of her. So I guess it's five stars for any of the characters that you want to sanctify. Alright, then what you do is uh, sanctify skills. Let's look at that. Uh, increase base HP by 15%. Base stats may be improved by runes, skills, totems, and more. Reduce damage taken from blah blah blah. Okay. Increase base attack by 15%. All attacks will deal 2 times damage to enemies with shield. Increase base defense by 15%. Reduce effect of defense down statuses. Defense down now decreases defense by 50% instead of 70%. Wow! Defense debuff decreases your defense by 70%. I had no idea. That's crazy. Increase base hit by 20%. Ignores target resistance by 15% of own hit. Okay. This is not bad. This is not bad for a caster. Increase base HP by 15%. If own HP is less than 15% at the end of a turn, recover 10% HP. This is really good. Yeah, this is really good for a bruiser. Increase base attack by 15%. Damage will no longer be reduced by 25% when attacking a hero of a stronger faction. So if you attack a hero of a stronger faction, like say Lawful attacking a Chaotic, you will do 25% less damage. Uh, yeah, wow. So basically, you just remove your weakness altogether offensively. And you still increase your base attack, which is really good. Uh, but not. It's good for PvP, but not very good for bossing because bosses have light type. Increase base defense by 15%, reduce damage taken by 50%. When a single attack would deal more than 50% of own HP. This is pretty good. This effect may only be triggered once per battle. Oh, once per battle. Okay, that's not very good. Increase base resistance by 20%. Increases lowers resistance by 30% of own resistance. Increase lowest resistance by 30% of own resistance. What, what does this mean? I have no idea. Increase base HP by 15%, reduce final damage taken by 15%. This is super good. This is legit, this is really really good. Anything that affects final damage, very good. Increase base attack by 15%, increase damage by 30% when attacking an enemy with less than 50% HP. Uh, good for longer battles. Increase base defense by 15%. Erase a negative status effect from self when HP falls below 80, 60, blah blah blah. Uh, not the best. It's it, it's good to like, if you're in PvP and then you, you, you get like frozen and stuff like that. And then when they nuke you, uh, you basically remove yourself from that burden. That's where I think it could be good. Like, like a kind of a, giving you a second chance. So to speak, increase base resistance by 20%, recover 5% of HP when resisting an effect. May trigger up to 2 times per turn. Per turn. Mm, this is really really good. If you have a tank that has high resistance, you can actually cap him off really easy with this. Uh, and he's basically quite unkillable, especially the enemy has like loads of uh, loads of debuffs yeah really really good this is super good for dragoon well this is really good for dragoon uh, pvp wise at least increase base hp by 15% 20% chance to reflect 50% of damage taken when being attacked it's not very good it seems good but the percentage chance is so low that uh, I don't see it being that usable unless your tank is so tanky and they are just not doing enough damage to your tank 
and they're just slowly cutting you down but then again if they're slowly cutting you down that you actually have a chance to proc this their damage might not even like hit them that hard I don't know I have yet to see that to be useful increase base attack by 15% decrease damage by 30% when attacking an enemy that is unable to perform oh sorry increase damage by 30% uh, to a stunned enemy, stun or frozen, whatever. Uh, I I know some heroes would be very good with this, but not this girl. Increase base defense by fifteen percent. De activate defense boost if affected by an unable to. Okay, if you are stunned, uh. Activate defense boost. Huh, let me think. Um, I think this is a lot better. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a lot better. You 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 don't even want to be stunned. So in the first place, if you are affected by a stun, something is wrong with your team. Okay, and for you to just slow down your loss, because if you're stunned, you're you're just gonna get raped. <laughs> uh oh, the R word. Uh, increase base resistance by twenty percent. Counter attack when resisting enemies attack may trigger up to two times per turn. This is pretty good. It's similar to this, but uh, counter attack when resisting enemies. Attack. Good for specific heroes, not all. Increase base HP by 15%. Oh, these are all HP. Oh, okay. I can't believe it took me like 5 turns to realize that. Increase base HP by 15%. Increase heal effect of all own, own healing skills by 20%. Own healing skills. Increase heal effect of your own healing skills by 20%. Oh, this looks really good for mages. They can heal your teammates a lot better. In yeah, this is really good. Especially for heal healers that heals based on their own max HP. I don't know whether such healers exist. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Increase base attack by 15%. Increases crit damage by 0.5% for every... 1% HP lost. This is quite good, but your HP shouldn't even be low if you are a damage dealer. Increase defense by 15%. Increase heal effect of healing skills received by 30%. Um, eh, there are better options. There are, there are definitely better options. Somewhere, somewhere. Increase base resistance. By 20% when resisting an enemy's attack, 25% chance to attack affect them with a stun for one turn at the end of their turn may trigger up to two times per turn. Two times per turn. So you stun them twice? Oh oh okay, you can stun two different people, okay. Um not bad. This is not bad. This is <laughs> this is really good. This is quite sick. So yeah, uh for this girl probably attack right because she's gonna be a farmer so let's see increase base attack by 15 percent do two times damage to enemies with shield nope i'm not gonna i'm probably not gonna use her for pvp in the long run so this is probably not a good idea increase base attack by 15 percent damage will no longer be reduced by 25 blah, blah, blah. this is not bad this is this opens her up to many hell modes this actually allows her to be more viable in other farming stages. Pretty good. I might consider this. Increase damage by 30%. Uh, nah, she, she needs to kill the guy off right from the start. Yep, similarly, you don't really need this. Uh, no. So, I think I'll go with Fearless. Yeah, I think I'll go with Fearless for the fact that... Can I even pick? Um, is this was broken? <laughs> what? Yes. Shit, is it random? Oh, it's not random. Okay, thank god. Uh, yeah, this one, right? I hope I don't regret. This is kind of good for... It's kind of good for... Grinding as well. Reduce final damage taken. This is this is nice. 
This is nice as well. Oh my god, I can't decide. This is not that good. I can't decide. Oh, it's just this one that's hit. I can't decide. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just go with this. Make her more useful. Oh, you can actually choose, can you? Full of optional skills. <laughs> You're full of optional skills. So I guess that's it. Oh, can you? Oh! Wait, what? You can change it. Oh, so you can change it like whenever you want. So, uh, yeah, let, let, let's try to cancel this and let's do this. Ah, so the moment you... The moment you sanctify your character, you, you don't have to worry. You can just pick whatever you want, whenever you want. So it's kind of like the skill system here. You just unlock like a new passive. Sweet. So this character of mine now should be pretty strong. Yeah. So that's all for this video. I hope it was informative. Hope it clarified any of your questions regarding sanctify. If not, leave it in the comments. I'll respond to you in time. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.